I believe in using the right tool for the job, and for my house, this is an example of the tools I commonly use, and one just got added to the toolbox, and it was missing for many years. My name is Jamie Andrews, and in this video, we're going to take a look at a small, lightweight, portable carpet cleaner with an integrated heated water system from TAB called the R6. If you own a car, truck, RV, or boat, at some point you're going to need one of these machines. But how about around the house? I recently reviewed the TAB T9 Pro, and I was impressed with the innovative design, cleaning ability, and value. TAB was founded in 2015, and their parent company is Hire, which has been around producing electronics for well over 30 years. Weighing in at 9.3 pounds and having an integrated carry handle makes the R6 very portable. It comes with three detachable cleaning heads and has an IPX4 splash resistant water rating. The first attachment is a clear gap tool that's used to get down in the cracks of seats and cushions. Second, we have my favorite attachment, which is three inches wide and has a few rows of stiff bristles. The clear cover is easily removable for cleaning. The last tool is the same, but a bit larger at 5.3 inches wide, and has bristles and a removable clear cover for easy cleanup. The trigger for the water is located right at the attachment and sprays a good amount of steady hot water. Tab also included a self-cleaning attachment designed to attach to the end of the hose and meant to back flush the hose with clean water after use. All the tools easily snap on and off, the end of the hose without needing to press any buttons or clips. Looking around back, we find a single power switch that will need to be on before you can use the machine. Around front, we have three touch sensitive buttons. The power button at the top switches the vacuum on. Below that, you have a button to boost the vacuum power to high and a temp button to boost the water temp to high. I found myself turning both on to high each time I used it as the difference in boost was minimal for each. I'm glad to see an included cord wrap for that long 16.4 foot power cord. The hose is also a good size at 5.6 feet and is stored on the R6 and serves to deliver that hot water to the spray head, which runs through a smaller hose inside this larger hose. You can also detach this hose from the R6 itself for cleaning or replacement. The removable clean water tank holds 1800 milliliters of water when filled to the max water line. Inside the tank is a basic mesh screen used as a filter. There's no notification when the water runs out while you're using it, so you'll have to pay attention to the water flow. The dirty water tank holds 950 milliliters of dirty water. The entire lid comes off, which contains a level float, so when the tank is full, the R6 will shut off the vacuum motor so you can empty the tank. Under the dirty water tank, you will hopefully find a spudge filter, which will keep larger debris out of the motor, so make sure you clean this often as it can get clogged, which will reduce suction. Tab claims the machine is less than 80 decibels of sound, which is what I found to be true from about 4 feet away. However, it is really close to the 80 decimals in sound if you switch the vacuum motor to high. The R6 comes with a powerfully rated 14,000 Pascal vacuum motor and an integrated heating block that can heat the water in as little as 15 seconds, which is what I found to be true. Here's a look at the power requirements for the machine in different configurations, and as you can see, the heater is quite powerful but is it able to achieve the company's claim of 140 degrees Fahrenheit? The short answer is no, not quite. With 80 degree tap water, the highest temperature I saw was around 126 degrees. I decided to run a test with 122 degree hot tap water, and the highest temp I saw was around 136 degrees. I would prefer the water temp to match what is claimed, but I am happy with the temp it puts out, which is comparable to always having hot tap water on hand. To test the suction power of the vacuum, I soaked a section of my carpet, and then I went over that area several times to suck up as much water as possible. While the carpet feels damp to the touch, the R6 did an excellent job removing the liquid from the carpet, as you can see here on this towel. I spent the last two months testing the R6 around my house, 
And since I have three cats, it is all too common to find hairballs and stains on the carpet to clean up. Since the R6 has a heating block in it, I recommend that you don't add carpet cleaner directly to the water tank, but instead pre-treat the stains with a bottle of carpet cleaner. I use a diluted carpet cleaner in a spray bottle, and the R6 made easy work of any stain I could throw at it. I know many people will look at this for cleaning floor mats and carpets in your car, so I took some very dirty 20-year-old floor mats inside and attempted to clean them. They were extremely dirty with spills and ground in sand and dirt. I mean, just look at the dirty water that came out of these floor mats. Unbelievable. Here are a few before and after shots, and you can see the R6 made a large difference. Taking the R6 outside, I tackled the carpets in the car, which were not nearly as bad as the floor mats, or at least that's what I initially thought. Just take a look at the dirty water I was able to extract out of the carpets from the car. The R6 did a notably better job cleaning the carpets up in the car, as you can see here in this after shot. Okay, let's shift gears a bit and talk about some things I did not like about the R6 while I was using it. The biggest gripe besides not being able to quite reach the advertised hot water temp is with the design of the dirty water tank lid, which is often hard to secure and can easily come detached if you're not careful. The trick is to keep the container clean after use and double check that the lid is securely put on before putting it back on the machine. I'm saddened there's no storage solution of any type for the four attachments. Not even a bag is included to hold the attachments, which means I'm going to lose these at some point. Now for the things I like. First up, the water tanks are a good size and the overall build quality does not feel cheap. The two brush attachments have held up very well to some serious abuse. The machine is lightweight and the controls are backlit and very easy to use. I really appreciate the long power cord and suction hose and the fact that they have integrated holders that are cleverly designed. I like the self-cleaning attachment which I use to purge the cold water out of the line at the start of a cleaning and then use to purge the dirty water out of the hose in the end. It has excellent suction for deep cleaning your carpets and having the ability to heat the water saves me from having to add hot water to the tank before every cleaning. Lastly, there is the value. This can often be found on sale for less than $200. Links in the description. And while there are some other portable machines around this same price, none of them advertise the ability to heat the water, quite like the Tab R6. To wrap things up, I now have an easy portable way to clean my carpets in my cars and campers. In my home, for a quick cleanup of the spill, the Tab R6 is much easier and efficient then pulling out my large carpet cleaner, and it also heats the water, so I found myself using it quite often. Overall, I am very impressed with this little machine and recommend you take a close look at it if you're in the market. If this video helped you in any way and you want to support my efforts, I ask that you consider subscribing to my channel. Make sure you take a look at my other videos and be sure to take it easy out there, everyone. Bye-bye.